What if someone could use your phone to spy on you, not only to track you, but to listen in on your conversations and what's happening around you? Como for Problem Solver Michelle Esteban reports, if you think that's vulnerability, there's more. And if that's not enough, we've even learned that your cell phone will spy on you even when it's off. For most of us, the cell phone is our lifeline. But in the wrong hands, it's a high-tech snooping device. Hello? Without you even knowing, somebody could be watching, somebody could be listening. It's frightening. We discovered it can happen. How someone can turn your cell phone into their eyes and ears to track your every move. Your phone can basically spy on you in a heartbeat. That's just been absolutely just twisted my mind around and critical. We'll call him Dirk. He wants to keep his face and real name private. He's worried about his cyber stalker, his ex-girlfriend. Even when Dirk's cell phone was off, his ex spied on him. She managed to access his cell remotely without him knowing. With Dirk's cell phone, she knew his every move, when he was alone at the corner coffee shop, what he bought at the grocery store, who he ate dinner with, even details about his dinner conversation. She always seemed to know where I was at. So, are you with so-and-so? And I would be with that person all the time. At first, Dirk chalked it up to a good guess and blamed himself for being paranoid. And she would always just say, oh, I'm psychic, you know? I just, I know how you think. If you know he believed it. But when his ex knew things he intentionally didn't tell her, that's when it clicked. His cell phone was her microphone. She knows too much. There's no way she could know this without having a listening device. You don't know what your phone is doing beyond what you think it's doing. Meet cybersecurity consultant, former White House cybersecurity advisor, and there's an icon right here on the on former the Microsoft top. chief First security time. officer, Howard Schmidt. But you are convinced that what this guy has experienced is real. That's correct. Schmidt insists it all comes down to one word, software. If a stalker gets a hold of your phone, they can install it. Some of the software is designed now where it will take that conversation and basically in the background, send it through the internet, because the phones are internet enabled now. We'll send it through the internet to a website, so you can actually click on the website and listen to it. Schmidt says once the sneaky software is installed, you can listen in on conversations from anywhere in the world. And in Dirk's case, even if he wasn't on the phone, his ex could hear what was going on. One time I, I pulled over and I said, how do you know that? How do you know it? She kept saying, well, I just know who you are. I just know who you are. This could very well result in something that's very, very catastrophic. We've seen stalking things go bad where people have actually lost their lives over it. And high-tech surveillance isn't limited to a jilted lover. As long as your cell phone is capable of internet access, Schmidt says it can be hijacked, and so can confidential emails, financial transactions, and intellectual property, without you ever knowing. It is a mobile PC. The best defense? Never let your cell phone out of your sight. Schmidt says spy software can be installed in minutes. Dirk thinks that's how his nightmare began. He wants to warn others because the consequences he knows can be long-term and severe. Even when Dirk got a new phone number, it didn't stop. I actually changed it four times in one week. She had found my number every single time. We've also learned that the FBI has used cell phones as a listening device. According to court documents, that's how they brought down two renowned mobsters in New York City. Tried in our state, and you could get behind bars. It's against the law. In Seattle, Michelle Esteban, Como 4 News. Thanks a lot, Michelle.